Hello YouTube, uh, this is part one of the 2019 fireworks stash. Um, I know nothing much happened at the end of 2018. Uh, New Year's didn't quite work out how I wanted, so we didn't have any fireworks that evening. I got very drunk instead, um, which to be fair was quite nice. First year, I haven't done fireworks in New Year's for five years. So it was the first year I really uh, went to town on the alcohol, which was very good fun. Um, but no, back for 2019. Uh, this year's not going to be as big as last year. A lot of last year's stuff, or at least some of it, is left over so I don't really need to add too much to it um, but I have added this selection from Blackpool Fireworks Neil delivered them yesterday credit to him for coming all the way down here I know he's going on holiday as well but coming down here uh, through the notorious M5 traffic jams to get to me um, but yeah this is what I've got so we've got a Neptune selection box would not be one of my stash if there wasn't a good selection box in there uh, this is from Evolution Fireworks who are pretty new on the block uh, it looks like a good box though I'll, I'll do the proper unboxing of this obviously at some point uh, it's 550 grams of powder we'll have a look at that one in more detail another time then we've also got two Kim Bolton blizzards which are little combination fountains and you see fountain battery swirling multicolored plumes um, these are just little cheap fountains I just like the look of them uh, what we got 80 grams of powder obviously uh, category 2 and there's the description of the effects there but the video of this look pretty good they last quite a long time uh, reasonably light I think there's a clear bit of window dressing in them but sort of what you expect in a fountain like this unlike a fountain like these these are your gay silver cones. I had the colour version of these last year and they were really good. Um, Neil didn't have any colour versions at the moment, but he had the silver ones, so I thought I'd go for the silver ones instead. Uh, just little cone fountains. They're not very small. They're not very big, sorry. Um, but they are 220 grams of powder. They're not massively heavy, but they're fairly weighty. And these are really good performers last year, these little cones. Um, unlike the big cone I had that blew up and was very scary and made me sort of shit myself a little bit. These ones both perform very well. So um, I've stuck to the smaller canes this year. Moving on to something rather a lot bigger. Protect, protect the cover off. This is Obelisk from Kim Bolton. And I have to go quite a long way out to get that all in the frame. This is very, very large. Compare it to a, a cone. There you go. It's not even half, it's more than double the length of the cone. Um, this is a 300 shot Roman candle battery. A tall pinnacle of colour tipped brocade comets. Not sure what that means. It's probably some sort of Chinese um, translation. Uh, 300 shots, 12 mil. Nice lot of brocade comets. And this is a really nice uh, firework. It's a lot bigger, however, than I anticipated. I thought it would be maybe that big and it sort of wasn't uh, but this looked really good on the video 516 grams of powder so it's very powder heavy um nice big roman candle there not exactly sure what i'll do with it yet but uh it was very good value so that looked very good on to first of the cakes we have from kim bolton blue moon which is a 36 shot yeah 36 shot cake a 25 mil Four of blue effects for a joyous celebration. Um, did occur to me after I ordered it that it's probably Kim Bolton's attempt at a gender reveal firework, but as usual, they haven't done brilliantly at the mass market, but they've made it instead a firework that's genuinely really nice. Um, big variety of effects, of six different effects in this. Uh, a lot of low noise effects, but finishes on six nice big uh, peonies, big blue peonies. So we got 366 grams of powder. But yeah, this one, if it was a gender reveal firework, it looked really nice. I mean, they did have a pink one as well called Coral Sea. I mean, I nearly bought that as well, but I thought the blue moon, the blue effect was a bit nicer, so I went for the blue one instead. Um, but yeah, as, as a gender reveal firework, a lot of them are a bit more uh, sort of bland. This one's really interesting. It's got a lot of different effects, so I thought I'd go for that one, see what it was like. Good, Good value again. Onto the first really big cake, which is Mishmash from Celtic. I've still got Mishmash Mini uh, from last year, so I will probably end up firing them on the same night and um, see how they compare. Um, but it's Celtic. It, it won't be bad in any way, I've got no doubt about that. So we've got 770 grams of powder, uh, 25 metres obviously. I don't know if the effects are on the side anywhere. 
it looks nothing like this. Um, <laughs> it's not found. There's the uh, the statistics for you. But yeah, this just looked like a Riga cake, a multi uh, multi effect. Sorry, say so lots of different things going on in here. Uh, a little bit on the lines of maybe fireworks crazy. Um, but a lot of these cakes are quite similar. But this one, I'm quite looking forward to seeing actually. Not as much, however, as this one. This is a cake I've been after for a long time. Uh, I finally just taken the plunge and bought one. Uh, this is Snowstorm by Zeus. Uh, so this is an incredibly unique firework. I don't know of anyone on the market, any similar firework, that is anything like this. Uh, this is 50 shots, a 30 mil bore of uh, iridium white mines to iridium white falling leaves. As hence why it's called Snowstorm. Um, it is absolutely beautiful, and everyone who's spoken about it and all the videos I've seen, it's just stunning. So I thought Neil had it in stock, just buy it. It's always going to be able to fire at some point. So obviously, battery shot use Cat 3, 1000 grams of powder, very, very powder heavy, as just because of the type of effect it is. Um, but I'm really looking forward to firing this one. They go white blink mine to white blink waterfall. Uh, pretty quick, 30 seconds. But this this is probably the cake out of all of them, everything that I'm most looking forward to see. So I'm really pleased we've got that one. So that's it for this part. I doubt there'll be much more until October, to be honest, um, in terms of more stashes. Uh, I, I just don't need it, to be honest, um, nor do I have the money at the moment. But I'm sure, I no doubt, some more fireworks will end up in my possession at some point. So thanks very much for watching, and I will be back with the unboxing of the Neptune box at some point. And then at some point for some more fireworks. Thank you very much.